Hi, this is iAndroid, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through making your first Android app. First off, we are going to need to download Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse is a software used to make Android apps. Um, there should be a link in the description below to this website. And over here, we download uh, Eclipse IDE for Java. Uh, I have a Windows 64 bit, so I'm going to download this one and just download it and this is gonna take some time while this is downloading um, another software we need is the Android SDK there should be a link to the link in the description for this too uh, just download this one the recommended one and this will take some time and once you guys are finished downloading uh, open up the folder and then there's gonna be a zip file for Eclipse so open that up and just uh, extract the thing to the file and this too will take some time so we'll just let it happen And after you're done with this, um, open this up, click yes. This is the SDK, which stands for Standard Development Kit Tools. And just install this. Now you should have uh, this thing open. Uh, Android SDK Manager, it should open by itself after the installation is done. And you should see right here, um, it already has pre selected Android 4.0.3, which is the ice cream sandwich, which is not out yet. Well, not in the US yet. Um, Android 4.0, ICS, uh, 3.2, the gingerbread, 3.1, Froyo. So, what we're going to do is. Um, check this this and this and then we're gonna install it and this page is gonna open just click on accept all and install and this will take a while the installation is done and it's asking me whether it there's an uh, do I want to update the ADB and just click yes on this click close right now and we are done over here so one last thing we're gonna do before we start writing the code is that we have to create an Android virtual device in the computer oh and I forgot to install Eclipse so go back in your downloads and install Eclipse Or maybe it does not need installation, it just opens up as a program. Now it's gonna ask you how do, how do you want to save your workspace? Just click use this as default and it's gonna be in the computer workspace. Click OK. And this should be the screen that should open up. This is Eclipse. And uh, if by any chance this is not the screen that opens up, there should be an option all the way right around here somewhere. It says go to Workbench and just click on that. And this should how you, this is this is how your screen should look. Now, actually, onto the part uh, where we actually install the Android virtual device. Uh, click on Help. Install new software. Uh, there should be a link that looks something like this in the description. Copy that link and paste it over here. Click on add and then just leave the name alone. Just click OK. And then it's going to connect to the website. 
and this should come up check this and click on next and it should do this click on next again accept finish and then it's going to be installing the virtual device so what it is is you can check your apps on your computer it's going to have a emulator and everything just click OK over here and now it's going to ask you whether you want to restart Eclipse click on restart right now and it should restart Eclipse click on OK now when it opens click on window Android SDK manager and it's just gonna read what all stuff you have installed Just click on close and now click on window again AVD manager and over here it, it should show you the Android virtual device that you have it's running the Android 4.0.3 and if you click refresh there will be no change because well, this is your virtual device and now we are actually going to create the code what we do is click over there Android project and this should pop up for the project name type in hello world and click on next and then choose Android 4.0 actually 4.0.3 should be fine too just select that click on next and over here change that to net dot learn to develop dot hello world and change this part to main activity leave that as 15 and click on finish and we should have our project on the sidebar over here click on the arrow next to it to expand it and first thing we're going to do is click on resolution expand resolution and expand layout and double click on main.xml and this should open up and this is the screen of your android and this is what defines how the screen is going to look and now click on main.xml down here this is where you write the code for the user interface this is where all the complicated stuff happens so now what we're gonna do is make a really simple app just to show up on your emulator so click enter enter and there's a piece of code down in the description what I want you to do is copy that and paste that over here and I just like things more Organized, so I'm gonna move this and that back, and this, and after I'm done over here, I'm gonna click on F11. What that does is brings up the debug mode and launches emulator. Now over here, uh, click on yes. The changes have been saved and. This is what's gonna happen. Your virtual device is gonna come up. Um, this is actually really cool.
and now your screen should look something like an Android phone phone home screen so we're gonna slide to unlock over here and this is your this is how the ice cream sandwich is gonna look by the way and you click on oh wait oh well this is your app it open itself and this is a clickable button you can click this and that's what we put in this is my first android application hello world main activity so this is your first app and i'm going to close the emulator right now so all this language you see over here is actually XML. It's not Java, C++, or anything. It's XML. It's completely different from Java and C++. So if you really want to make Android apps, I would recommend you guys learn XML because that's what you need to make apps. And this was iAndroid, and please comment rate and subscribe it really helps this was my first tutorial I was kind of nervous but it passed so thank you for watching the video